start with that. I blame Apple. Ago, my refrigerator started to make a weird noise. So uh, I uh, talked to my landlord about it and he said, okay, we'll get you a new fridge and just pick one out for less than a thousand dollars. And I said, well, I pay the energy bill and energy here is extremely expensive. It's like 22 cents a kilowatt hour. It's like the most anywhere except one. So uh, I wanted to get the best deal possible. So I did some research and I, I looked online looking for like comparison shopping engine for appliances and whatnot. It doesn't exist. You have to dig through spreadsheets and look at yellow flyers and all this weird stuff on it to, to try to figure out what the most efficient fridge is. It's really complicated. So I decided to take all that information and put it together and make an easy way to comparison shop electrical products. So I came up with the five star Econify E-Star system, which rates each product compared to other products in its class, other similar products. So a, a five star product is the most energy efficient product in its class, uh, similar, uh, among similar products. So we see here we have the, the most popular products are all mid-range products. And um, we built this, these stars and this interface over this weekend. And um, right now it has the most popular products from Amazon. And um, so we can go and like, pick out a fridge, let's say this guy, and um, find other similar fridges, maybe is give uh, a competitive marketplace for manufacturers of these appliances to have a uh, way to compete with each other so that they, um, they are actually compelled to make better, more efficient products. And um, so uh, the other thing you can do is uh, I want to see uh, how much I'm actually going to save with this. So um, if I want to buy this fridge, I can pick it out and um, add it to my little house simulation app here. Compare how much it's going to cost and um, compare it to an older refrigerator, which um, this is already set up. Uh, but basically, this will allow you to add your old products as well. And um, so, for example, my fridge is maybe from 1992, it's about 21 cubic feet. And I can see that this upgrade to a new energy efficient appliance will be profitable and it will pay back within one year and 10 months. So this is the ROI, um, and this is a, a chart of the expense over time of that upgrade. So this is the initial cost of the fridge, and you can see it, it, it costs a lot less over time, uh, whereas the old one is costing a lot more over time, but I didn't have to pay to get it, so I had it. So this is, um, Payback. And, uh, so, um, so, what we want to do with this is kind of make it a uh, central marketplace for both uh, energy efficiency as well as ecology because it's very similar data as to what uh, energy usage a product is and, and how much toxicity the, the product creates, like as far as um, when you're generating electricity, you're releasing you know, mercury in the air and um, also landfill waste. So, we want to keep track of all of that stuff and um, let people see if they're contributing 
to a cleaner environment and to their own bank account and savings. That's what the Green Deal in the UK is based off of, basically. Yeah. Financing incentives for residential homeowners. So yeah. the you can do yeah. the banks are mispricing the credit risk now, which is a problem. They, they look at it as being technology risk. Yeah. Yeah. There's definitely costs and utilities. They have a lot of money trying to bring down. Yeah. Bring off the green market. Yeah. So and they're instead giving away light bulbs, which is, I mean, you can't. Giving away a fridge is a lot better than giving one light bulb. Yeah. What's your data?